This is Alim from Javelin playing with the new toys in SOLIDWORKS 2013. This year one of the areas that got most of the enhancements is the feature manager tree. In the previous videos we discussed about the flat tree view and also about the favorites folder. Today we'll be talking about another great enhancement which is the ability of adding subfolders in the feature manager tree. Let's take a look at this functionality at the part level. So if I would like to group all the features that are defining the shape of this remote into one folder, just select them. I'm going to use the shift select. Right click, add them to a new folder. This is not new. Let's call it ID features. And if I am to expand this folder, maybe I would like to group the two sketches that contain the pictures received from the industrial designer, pictured that again are defining the shape of this remote into another subfolder. So allow me to select them, right click, and this is what's new. You can add another folder inside uh, an existing folder. So it's, this is going to be a subfolder. I'm going to call it picture sketches. Please be aware that the standard limitations due to history still apply. So for example, if you are trying to select features from different areas of the tree and you try to group them into one folder, it might not work just because, for example, in this case the surface sweep will move ahead of its parents. Uh, if you need to do that, the only place that would allow you to add features from wherever in the tree is the favorites folder, as we discussed in the previous video. The good news is that this limitation does not apply to assemblies, since there is no history in assemblies. So, For example, here I have quite a lot of toolbox parts. Let's group them together into one folder. A uh, quick way of doing that is using the advanced selection, so I'm going to select all the toolbox parts in the tree, right click, and I'm going to add them to a new folder. Let's call this folder hardware. Let me expand it, and I notice I have quite a lot of pan crosshead uh, bolts in here. Let's add them to a subfolder. In order to select all of them, I can do that in two different ways. One is by using again the advanced selection and I'm going to look for document names that would contain the pan crosshead. So as you can see it selected all the bolts or pretty much all the files that are containing that string. Right click and add them to a new folder. Let's call this folder pan cross had screws and maybe add another one for all the flat head screws and let's uh, select them using the filter here so I'm just gonna isolate them flat head screws and let me select them directly from the graphic area because I can and add them to a new folder and I'm gonna call that flat add screws. So right now I have my hardware folder and I have these other two subfolders. Then you can continue grouping the other hardware as needed. One thing to be aware of, if, if you delete the parent folder, the subfolders are just moving one level up in the tree so they are still there. That's pretty good. Using folders and subfolders will not only make your feature trees much easier to read, but it will also allow you to control your features or components in bulk. So for example, if you're looking at all these bolts here, uh, if I want for example to hide or suppress all of them, I can just do it directly from the folder. So as you can see, this can be a huge time saver. Use it. Music